It's the real birthplace of aviation, the factory where Orville and Wilbur Wright built their planes. Tonight, for the first time, we're going inside the Wright Plane Factory and asking about the building's future. New at 6, Jordan Burgess takes you on the tour of the historic site. We got an inside look at a piece of Wright Brothers history few in the area have ever seen. But to go on this tour, you needed a hard hat along with something else. Bringing history to light sometimes takes just that, light. It is a very unique project. For nearly 100 years, these buildings were closed to the public. They were a part of General Motors and then later Delphi's Dayton Home Avenue plan. But their first owners were the Wright brothers. This is where the aviation business began. The only problem, the buildings are now in the dark. The power to a large part of the building has been turned off because of the demolition work. That demolition is taking down the rest of the former Delphi plant, but these buildings that house the Wright Airplane Factory are being spared. The National Aviation Heritage Alliance wants to one day turn them into a place people can visit, but in the meantime, it's had to improvise. We've had to give what we call our flashlight tours. The alliance has taken area leaders on the tours in an effort to get their support for the project. The group is trying to raise $4 million to buy the property. It's also working with the National Park Service to see if it can help return the buildings to their former 1910 look. Once those partitions are removed, Wilbur and, Wilbur and Orville could come back to the site and they would recognize what they see. The hope is one day the flashlights won't be needed to illuminate the work of two of the brightest men the world has ever known. We certainly want to transition away from flashlight tours. There's no doubt that that's one of our objectives. And officials here say they expect to find out more about the National Park Service's possible involvement in these buildings when the president releases his budget in February of next year. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.